Nobody to say it with me, so video, you guys, welcome, welcome back, welcome back. Ah, I'm so excited for you guys today. I'm so excited to take you on this journey today with me. Guess what we're gonna do, guys? Yes, we're gonna go see the baby today. Um, I have an appointment today for another sonogram. They're also gonna do some blood work. Um. I am 12 and a half weeks, so they're going to take my blood, make sure everything is okay with the baby, uh, make sure we don't have any um, issues, and this is not a third. Um, but before we get into it, if it's your first time here, please give this video a big thumbs up. Show us some love in the comments down below. And if you're new and you want to be a part of the JLA family, go ahead and subscribe by clicking that subscribe button down below. Go ahead and click it. I'll give you two seconds. One thank you also put the little bell on so you know every time we upload a video all right you guys so back into it yes you guys i'm excited for y'all because you guys get to come with me jamal hasn't even been in in a in the room yet because you know covid you know stops everything stops the show right now so um yeah, you guys are gonna come in there with me. Hopefully, um, they let me film. At least you guys can see the baby uh, while they do the sonogram. I'm sure you guys don't wanna see me get my blood drawn. Um, but yeah, I'm so excited. Um, I'm, I have a few questions to ask the doctor. I met with the doctor once before and then I also had a separate ultrasound without seeing the doctor. So today I get to see the doctor again today and I have a lot of questions to ask. And um, one of my main questions is, can I give birth vaginally? Y'all know I've never given birth vaginally before. All the kids have been C-section. If y'all don't know, all the kids are C-section. The last pregnancy was <clears throat> with the twins. Um, the twins are going to be seven on the 15th of September. So this is so new to me. Like, I really don't remember anything. But I did hear that if it's past five years, I could do vaginal. So I'm excited about that. Um... So yeah, we'll ask questions to the doctor about that. Um, my nausea has been going away, y'all. Um, but now I'm getting like acid reflux really bad. It's bad. Um, I'm very picky with what I eat. So I don't know, y'all. But um, yes, I'm so excited. So stay tuned. Come in with me. Also, um, later, I don't think we really ever ask the kids like how they feel about having a new baby and if they want a girl or a boy. So when the kids get home, when Jalen, Jalea, Jaren, and Jairus get home from school, um, we'll ask them how they feel. You know, I want I, I want to hear it from them. I want to see how they feel about having a new sibling. Also, um, we're going to start this team boy, team girl stuff because soon we're going to find out what we're having. So... Let's see, and then we we need to figure out another J name, y'all. Like, y'all gotta help us with that. We got a lot coming up. We're moving into our new house. So excited, you guys. So stay tuned. I'm gonna try to bring you guys in there with me and um, show y'all baby number five. So get ready, let's go. Hey guys, this is the baby. Here's the heartbeat. Hey 
gosh, the baby's waving, you guys. New baby J. Guys, we need names. Oh my gosh. Baby number five. Oh. Oh my gosh. How cute. Oh my gosh, she's moving a lot. Look, she, I'm saying she. Oh my god, legs crossed. I just had coffee, so I don't know. <laughs> Type. Alright, that's all you guys get. That's all you guys get, okay? <laughs> so I am in the doctor's office waiting to see the doctor. You guys see, we saw the baby. Who was excited that they got to see the baby? And the baby was moving so much, you guys. So, we're in the office. Just waiting on the doctor to come in. I have a list of questions. Let me show you guys. <clears throat> I have a long list of questions to ask the doctor because, as y'all know, the twins were the last babies. It's been a long time, so I just have a few questions, and uh, that's about it. So catch me um, when we leave here. Oh, I still haven't taken my blood yet, so we're going to do some blood work, and um, I should get those results back within a week. So I'm excited, you guys. I'm so happy we got to see the baby. See you guys on the flip side. Okay, you guys, so I'm a little slanted, but that's the way that I set up the camera. Um, a little disappointed. Um, baby's healthy, you know, all in all. Happy about that. Um, and then we're waiting on our uh, blood results, blood test results. So they're going to test um, me to see if I'm like a carrier of any type of like sickle cell, fibro, cystic fibrosis, stuff like that. Um, just to know, um, they're going to test the baby for any, uh, genetic disorders. And, um, I spoke with the doctor. Y'all saw the list of questions I had. Um, and he told me that I cannot do vaginal. Um, since I had three C-sections, um, I have a lot of scar tissue and, um, he doesn't want to chance anything ripping down there and anything going wrong with the delivery. So I don't have a choice but to do C-section. And every time I had C-sections, they just didn't go as great as they could have. Um, with Jalen, I ended up in ICU. I had preeclampsia, placenta previa. We found all of this out on the day of the C-section. Like, I couldn't even hold Jalen. Um, Jalea, Jalea wasn't so bad. Another thing that happens to me, oh, and with the twins, they had to push a blood clot, blood clot out. Um, and after every C-section, I'm throwing up for at least 30 minutes, just constant vomiting, vomiting, vomiting. Um, I'm not looking forward to it. I'm praying that, um, the doctor, he's a bit younger than my OBGYN. I had the same OB which is the doctor that delivers babies for all three of the pregnancies. The last time, of course, we in a new state. I got a new doctor, good reviews about him. So I'm just praying uh, everything goes smooth with that. But I'm very disappointed. I did want to do a uh, vaginal. I did want to push the baby out. I've never gotten to experience that. But um, we'll do what's best for us, what's safe for us. So. Stay tuned, guys. Um, if you don't see me ask the kids those questions in the video, in this video, I think we'll just save it for another video um, so that they could really elaborate and we'll make it about them. So, um, see you guys next time. Uh, they took a lot of blood out of me, too, so I'm feeling like crappy. Like, they did like seven tubes of blood. So, I'm gonna go eat something. Catch you guys on the flip side. Love you guys. Bye.